What's up everybody, Alec here and uh, today over here I have Komodo Internet Security Premium 5.8 Final. I haven't tested a beta, this version of beta, yet. And I haven't tested uh, this final release as well. And uh, let me see what's going on with my screen resolution, okay? It's black, it's dark, but never mind. Um, this is uh, the new main user interface. I like it a lot. It's very nice, um, very well done. Uh, so what's new in Komodo Internet Security Premium? Uh, I'm not really gonna bother you with that. There are some improvements from the version 5.5, but um, nothing spectacular. I can say, um, but uh, from what I read, it's been improved, and um, I'm not gonna test it today against uh, some nasty zero-day malicious URLs as always. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, I have one piece of malware, and it's called Trojan Ransom uh, Win32 GP code. You probably heard about uh, this uh, very nasty piece of malware so what it does um, it uh, encrypts your files all of your files in your system your data so after that you're not gonna be able to use them anymore the only thing that you can do is to to delete them so because uh, they are all encrypted um, by very strong algorithm so from what I read on the internet on Google there is still there is no way to to decrypt the files they offer you to buy the decryptor I mean these criminals offer you to buy their decryptor for uh, I believe 130 bucks and um, I'm not sure if uh, they are going to send you that decryptor <laughs> I, I will not bet on that so over here I have some files some pictures as you can see there you go those are some pictures some funny <laughs> and I have some archives over here those are some my songs and uh, we will see if um, if this Trojan ransomware this this uh, piece of um, GP code is not the same as uh, some that I have seen on the internet some of them locks up your screen and your system your explorer so you cannot do anything and uh, in the meantime it uh, encrypts all of your files this one um, does not lock up your screen but uh, it encrypts your files I have tested Komodo uh, in the last couple days so uh, I I have seen something weird and I want to show you um, I want to show you that I want to share you that with you uh, it's pretty old piece of malware so uh, the most of uh, the most of the vendors detects it but um, let's say it got released today so what would happen if Komodo does not have a signature for it um, I want to test Sandbox and Defense Plus against this piece of malware and we will see if they are able to stop it from uh, encrypting my files on my system that's pretty pretty important so I will disable antivirus now and all also I will um, disable network connection because of Komodo cloud scanner so Komodo is now not able to <coughs> to scan it in cloud I don't need that I want to test sandbox and defense plus so everything is uh, on default I will try that first on default and after that I will try to use some customized settings so let me show you Defense Plus trusted files. 
I don't want anyone to say, oh, you're a cheater, you put that in trashy files or something like that. No, I will show you everything so... I don't want anyone to call me a cheater. <laughs> Look at these trusted files. This piece of malware is not in here. Take a look carefully. There you go. It's not in unrecognized files, but uh, that doesn't matter at all. <laughs> and there you go. It's on internet security by default, game mode disabled, sandbox level enabled, Defense Plus uh, is on safe mode, Firewall is on safe mode, and Antivirus is disabled. So, let me unpack this um, GP code. What the password? Um, yes. There it is. GP code and let's now run it and see what happens so application isolated especially limited it's been sandboxed especially limited so there you go some of these files has been encrypted as you can see those were my pictures and now they are gone they are locked up by this piece of malware. If I open up Process Explorer here, <laughs> some uh, w script.exe is running here. and company name Microsoft okay this is probably some kind of script but uh, it encrypted my files and that's the thing I don't like about it so let me try to to reboot the system no let me first take a look where that file is now it's in sandbox especially limited okay I will reboot the system now and uh, I'm gonna pause the video for a second okay there we are and uh, as you can see my desktop background uh, is also gone because um, that was a picture that is now encrypted if I open up my documents my pictures there you go and over here you have a um, readme text document that says your files are encrypted with RSA one uh, algorithm so uh, to recover your files you need to buy our decryptor to buy the decryptor tool contact us at uh, yahoo.com no .com that .com .com is on uh, Serbian <laughs> So begin. I don't know what this is. Some kind of joke. You have text document uh, also in here, as you can see, in every single folder. And uh, Komodo did not stop uh, on these settings, on default settings. It did not uh, prevent this malware from uh, encrypting my files. So let me try to revert to a clean Komodo snapshot and we will try to to mess up with some of the settings and we will see how it goes okay let me first pause the video okay everybody I'm back and um, we have a now clean snapshot of Komodo Internet Security Premium and the first thing that uh, I will I'm gonna do now is uh, move from internet security to proactive security this is a uh, more secure than internet security and it protects more system files than internet security mode so you need to restart the computer and unlike version 5.5 as you can see 
this one uh, asks you to reboot the system so the effects um, so the changes tech effects um, I'm gonna pause the video now again okay uh, let's now change some other settings here it's on proactive security as you can see sandbox is enabled defense plus uh, we will leave that on safe mode firewall safe mode antivirus disabled and the network connection disabled as well Oof, there it is let's disable it again and now we will go here and uh, we will move this from partially limited to untrusted so this is a sandbox level uh, treat and recognize files as, as from partially limited to untrusted so malware has uh, less rights in your system if you move it uh, to untrusted so it does not have partial limited rights it has um, it's untrusted basically so now let me open up this piece of malware let me first unpack it We will see if um, it cannot it can bypass bypass sandbox. So now it's been um, sandboxed as untrusted. Let's wait for a second and there you go. This is the first file that has been encrypted. So all of my files are encrypted. I cannot open up any of them as you can see uh, if I delete this file or even if I submit it it will detect it as, as Trojan Win32 and it will quarantine it so anyway uh, let's let's delete the file and nothing happens if I re reboot the system it will stay the same but I want to show you that okay there we are and as you can see uh, these encrypted files are still still encrypted uh, my desktop background has not been changed unlike um, in previous tests but it doesn't mean that Komodo stopped the malware from doing that uh, it just mean that uh, it did not have time to do that if you open up um, my pictures in my documents as you can see some of these files are encrypted and some of these are not because um, malware did not have time to do that and if you if you let if you give him um, time more than half an hour maybe more I don't know uh, it will encrypt all of your files that's for sure never never mind how how many files you have and you will lose everything everything that you have so the only thing that uh, you can stop this is um, to use a system backup so after that, after this happens, um, you are going to be able to restore everything, to recover everything. And that's pretty much it. So uh, Komodo fail today to stop these files. And that's the thing uh, to stop this um, piece of malware, excuse me. So that's the thing I don't like about it. It's very strong security suite. I like it. It has uh, many lines of protections, but uh, this is very nasty piece of malware, and uh, it did not stop it at all. 
it's not running in memory I cannot claim that it's here but that's not important as long as uh, you don't have your data so thanks for watching everybody please comment rate and subscribe and um, have a nice day so bye bye